Hello. As you can see, I've actually got a new hub. Because I'm not going to lie, I was really tired. And as I was putting the... Uh, as I was trying to put the bearing in, it kept going wonky. So, yeah, in the end, I went and got another bearing, just to make sure it was still brand new and okay. Um, and I got another... I got a hub as well, just because why not while I'm there. Um, and I took it to a garage and I got them to press it in. But that's just because I was tired and uh, yeah, as I kept, as I was putting it in, it kept going like wonky. So yeah, now we're going to install it. And also the ABS ring is the one with the magnet on. So there's a little notch at the back that you have to make sure that you get in between there. I don't know if y'all can see. But yeah, we're going to carry on putting this on and then we'll come back to you. So we've got the steering knuckle on. You should be able to see all the way through. That's obviously just the brake holes. But yeah, that's all the way through there. So now we're going to put the uh, drive shaft in. So we're going to put the drive shaft in. We're all in. We now can see all the way through. So it's the same, same as that one. Track would end next. Then what else, folks? Near the new one, there's no movement at all. Whereas in the old one, that was plenty of wear. Now, this wheel bearing comes with a circlip, so we can file that if we don't need it. New nut. This is 32, yeah, 32. So, we've got the track with end. We need to put the bolt in for that, which is, where did you put it? Oh, yeah, we've got the bolt for the ball joint. I'm gonna make sure to put grease on, just on that, just to make sure it's easier for the next time I take it out. There you go, that's in. Put the nut on. So this is the next one. This is the bolt for the suspension. So this bolt is a 15, so we've got that in. Next is the ABS sensor. So we've got some clean rag just to make sure this is actually clean. Well, it's not now. We've got what looks like a manky old brake desk. And now we're going to put the brake caliper on that has been hung up out of the way.
So the suspension bolt, that's also a 15. <laughs> so the wishbone bolt behind here, that's a T50, I don't know if you can be able to see it, you know. That's a T50. And then the, bolt, the nut on the back of it is 15 mil. So the track red end is a 5 mil. I'll say that 5 mil. So we're we'll gonna put that on there, and it's a 17 mil nut. So we just can put that in there to stop it moving. Does that do that? <laughs> Obviously I'm going to tighten this when it's on the ground. Once we've done that, we have put a new wheel bearing in and a hub to be fair. But yeah. Just go around, make sure you, all your bolts are tight. We've got the two on the caliper, we've got the ABS bolt, we've got the track running bolt. You've got the bolt for the suspension, if you've taken it off. And you've got the big 32mm nut. Just go around, make sure you tighten everything up as you go. And yeah. Oh yeah, you've got the wishbone bolt as well. See, it's so easy to forget even one bolt. Well, thank you very much for watching. Bye.